Hey guys, welcome back to Michelle Crochet. I'm Bree, and today I've got another review for you. So I found this a while back at my family dollar. It was in the Dollar Tree section. It was only a dollar twenty-five. Now, I did a few months back a review of the first kit I got and made this little bunny. But let's see if this one, the unicorn, is any good. So stay tuned. I'm going to head down to the table and let's see what all you get in this kit. All right, here we are at the table with our Crafter Square DIY Crochet Amigurumi Animal Kit. So today I figured we would do this unicorn. Now, according to the package here, we should have a plastic needle, we should have our yarn, stuffing, crochet hook, plastic beads, and our instruction sheet. So let's open this up, see what we got inside. Now, so first off, here is our stuffing. Looks like your run-of-the-mill you know, comes in the cheap kit stuffing. We've got our eyeballs with our plastic needle, which they said would be in here. A crochet hook, and when I work on this, I am planning on using this crochet hook, the one that comes with it. We've got some white yarn and some pretty colored yarns and this yellow. Now, to me, I, first thing I want to check is did we get the right colors because I see some yellow I see some green I see some blue pink okay so it looks like pretty consistent with what it's supposed to be on the front here we got our white yarn we should obviously have more of the yellow because we've got to make our horn so it looks like everything seems to be here let's take a quick look at the instructions just to see what we're dealing with now first side it looks like instructions this kind of teaches you how to crochet it looks like a chain stitch looks like single crochet and then on the back instead of written out instructions it looks like we've got some diagrams which if you can read diagrams this shouldn't be an issue now if you're newer to crochet and you need that little bit of extra I'm not too certain you know me when I was starting off I could do this this also gives us, you know, how to join the parts, stuffing them, how to assemble them. But it doesn't really show you, like, how to attach anything. Like, how do you attach the mane or the tail? Which, I mean, if you're a seasoned crocheter, I think you're fine. But I'm definitely not confident that a beginner could pick this up. Unless you're maybe a little bit more advanced beginner, I wouldn't think a beginner beginner, somebody just learning, is going to pick this up and figure it out right away. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the crochet part and I'll be back to show you what I end up with. Okay, so I'm back. We have the body, we have the head, we have the horn, we have the mouth, and we have our legs. And it's time to do the, our eyeballs. I got this tool. I'm going to set it here so you can kind of see it a little bit. It's like a wooden ball and then it's got this metal tube on it and it's supposed to help you get your eyeballs fastened. So I'm gonna pop my eyeballs on here. Try and get them as even as possible. Just poke them through, you know, wherever they look good. And what you do is when you go ahead and you've got, you know, you have to put your little plastic pieces on and these can really hurt the fingers. So when you go to put them on, you get them started, then you can use this tool to press them down to get them to click into place. So there's one, I mean, super simple. I saw somebody doing this, let me get a little closer and I do the second one so you can see, but you get that over there. Hope you can see that okay. You got your little plastic piece and then you just use the wooden dowel and pop them right on. And they're nice and secured on there and now I can continue on and next time you see me I will have this done and I'll give you my final thoughts. So if you are interested in this tool I found it on Amazon. It came in just this plain box, no instructions, <laughs> something to keep in mind, but I mean it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean you just use it to press the backs down and click, 
safety eyes are done. And the nice thing also about this is it's kind of um, like ergonomic, fits in the hand nicely, doesn't hurt the hand. Even my big hands, it's a, it's a pretty good fit for. So I'm going to go get this unicorn assembled and I'll be back. I am back. I have finished the unicorn and I thought I would share with you what I have left and how it went. So let me go ahead and show you. I have a lot of the stuffing left and I have quite a bit of the white yarn left. I used all of the colored yarn and let me just set him aside and I'll finish showing you things. So I got my directions. Also, last time I did one of these kits, if you saw my other video, I set, you know, was able to use the hook all the way through and, you know, I had said, oh, you know, it's not too bad for being a plastic hook. This one broke on me and I ended up having to finish, like it broke when I was trying to finish, like putting the hair in and I ended up using a metal hook I already had. Also, last time I don't believe that I used the needle and I used the needle this time and if you can see that it is quite bent it did not hold up very well it's just it's way too flexible but I will say it didn't break like the hook did now here is what it's supposed to look like versus what it did look like and I went ahead and I made put in the hair um, when I put the hair in when I did the hair I set it up to be like thicker and I set it up to be longer just because I kind of like that better. I, mean, I could have made it so the hair more closely resembled what's supposed to look like. Now something though that right off the bat I noticed like my horn is like definitely different than this one and I think now there was only one decrease to make the horn. I think that there are more than one decreases to do this horn. I think that's why mine looks so different. Also, it looks kind of like a, like a rubber ducky to me, kind of. But I mean, for the most part, I mean, the shaping mostly came out fine. Like the head, the body is okay. The legs, I placed mine just a little bit different just because I wanted a little bit different look. I wanted it to look like he was jumping. But for the most part, you know, I mean, everything went pretty well. One thing I did really like about this is the fact that it does show you like the assembly down here because at first I was like, okay, you make all the pieces, but how are you putting them together? So I'm glad that it shows that. For the most part, the directions were okay. I mean, I like the idea it has these little charts. If you watched my video last week with the cauldron, like I had my own little chart like this I showed in the video that I personally wrote for myself because it's just easy notes, you know, to know how many stitches are supposed to be. I mean, I could look at the chart to know exactly where the increases are supposed to be. So if you prefer written instructions, though, if you want very wordy written instructions, this is not for you. For the most part, though, if you're new to crochet, like brand brand new, no. But if you have a basic understanding of charts and how and shaping, you could probably do it. I am back with my final thoughts on this cute little unicorn. Now, I do think that the kit is fine for somebody who has a little bit of experience. Like if you understand diagrams, you understand charts, you understand how, you know, basic shaping works. I think that you could do okay. If you're somebody who's new and kind of needs the directions kind of spelled out a little bit more, then you're probably not going to be okay. But I mean, you could, can look at this, you know it's a unicorn. Now something I would suggest, and I can't find my brush right now, but I think that if you took like a dog brush, like one of those wire ones, and brushed out the hair, so it made it fuzzy and kind of like mingled the colors a little bit more, I think this would look even better. And I may do that later with mine, but I don't know where my dog brush is right now. <laughs> I've got like a special one that I use like for projects. So, Here's your final look, and those are my final thoughts. Until next week, take care.